It's been two years, gang. Two years to the day. Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. Two years ago, I was able to introduce you to an amazing fitness health band called the Spoven Blade. Here it is. This is what it looked like, and I'm still raving about this one today. It has finally been upgraded, and we're taking a look today, not uh, just at the new band, but also a new watch version of this incredible technology. It's available directly from Spoven. They've contacted me. We're working directly with them now, and they'll be able to ship this product to you whenever you're ready to order. It's a square, smaller, redesigned band. does basically the same thing called the H03. By the way, Spoven officially named it the H02, which we know is the Spoven blade, and um, Banggood picked it up and called it the Bakey H02. So the original Spoven, see the word right there, is um, the H02. This is the upgraded H03, and now they also have a new watch on the market, does the same thing, uses the same app with all of the same features, except it's in a round watch format with the touch button on the side and an actual button to toggle through things, as well as slide across the screen. And you can pick that also up from Spoven. More details when we do the full review on each one of them, which is going to start right now. Let's take a look at the new one. When you open the box, you find that it's basically the same... Um, design with just some slight modifications in the H03 as in the H02. Here we go. Uh, wow, it's on already. And here's this one. You see it's a little bit more boxy, little square, same watch face going on there, pretty much same design, about the same thickness. The back is exactly identical. The bands are both removable. You have the charging thing. You're going to see all that in just a minute. But first, let's page through the manual together. Here it talks about popping off the end of the device and charging it. It's the top one opposite the button that will have the charging ports in it. Functions, start up and shut down. And here's some color screens along with the QR code. Once again, it's the H-Band or H-Band 2 app, your choice. Um, both of them are working fine. So, other... You're going to see all of these uh, screens. The thing is, it's uh, one button at the bottom. There you go. And you touch it over and over and over again. It's not a touch-sensitive screen per se. So it's all about fast touch, double touch, touch and hold, those kind of things. The app now gives you all these kind of uh, details. You've got heart rate, blood pressure in there. And then you've got these screens that get into nighttime sleep stuff. We'll show you that. And this is where it's going to compute your heart rate variability while you're asleep and produce a thing called the Lorenz scatter diagram. Pretty cool when you see your first one. This, toward the very end, we're going to show you special ways to connect this up and do a full-on ECG report from the band. And uh, more information and settings here. And then the last set of watch faces, uh, of which one brand new one is showing up on this one. Really fun. So bottom line, there's just been a few uh, hardware changes in the newest one. And other than that, everything else is identical. Check it out. We've got all the different uh, screens for your step count and calories burned, your heart rate, your blood pressure is the same. Your sleep time is the same, blood oxygen's the same, uses the same red diodes, this long press for ECG, and this special long press to go into the chest strap, all the same. Long press for getting into the fitness, turning it off, and we're back to the watch faces. So what I'm going to do is uh, refer you over to the original review we did of the Spoven Blade for the real detailed analysis of each of the screens you see here and the interface with the uh, H-Band and H-Band 2 apps because um, we, we spent a lot of time and went into really, really deep detail on that. There's new things I want to cover with you, and that's what we're going to take a look at here. What I want to do is get over to this screen here, which is the chest strap. I'm going to long press, and it's going to put this into 
a dark mode and it changed the way it operates. So let's go deeper. Now, you need to see what else is in the box to make sense out of that. If you recall, um, the video really didn't go into a lot of detail, but uh, for the uh, original one, there's a special mounting uh, unit that you could put the watch module itself into and attach uh, electrodes to put it on your chest. Well, they've made that a whole lot easier now with uh, H03. Uh, we're looking actually when you take the bands off you're looking at the same type of connectivity right here's the USB but I think inside this one is where we have the attachment components yeah that look like this okay and they snap in here and touch the electrode like this here and here. Got to get it the right orientation. Ah, I had it the right. Okay, there we go. There we go. Making contact here when you have it on your chest. And this is going to snap onto these pads. And that's where you're going to put it actually on your chest. You can get these anywhere. Any, any place that does ECG type activity, you can, you know, like hospital, labs, whatever. You can get these kind of pads. They're commercially available. You take off the stick them stuff on it here, and then you just literally stick this on your chest. This thing is doing its thing, and uh, it's transmitting the details to the app, exactly like happened with this one, but in a much simpler arrangement. Now, in terms of actual practical use with these pads, it's a little awkward, to be honest with you. you got to take this thing off. It's a little bit of sticky area there, and uh, when you attach it, the actual body of the module is pretty heavy, and it tends to pull it off. So to do it properly, you really have to peel off the adhesive of the entire pad and slap that up against your chest. And if you're a hairy guy, that can be a little awkward. So there's got to be a better way, and turns out there is. I'm going to take these off. And instead of using these, you remember this little goodie? This was a little ECG chest strap from Wellu, GoWellu.com. And it's a great little unit. It does ECG. And look, the alignment of the buttons is exactly the same. So if this works with a chest strap, it's reasonable to expect that this might actually snap on to an ECG type chest strap as well. And it sure does. So suggestion is instead of fussing with these, you could get yourself a chest strap. Uh, either pick this thing up from Wellu um, or look for this chest strap by itself over there. Or now I understand it. Our friends at Spoven are going to also have a strip a strep chap, there you go, a chest strap that you, you can pick up along with the, uh, the band itself too. And if you're going to be doing chest uh, ECGs, this is a great, great way to go. But wait, it gets even easier because I'm going to show you how the whole thing is done if you want to do this simply by holding the buttons. Yep, you don't actually need to do this mounted to your chest. It will work as long as one hand and the opposite hand create a circuit through your heart. The ECG test is about six minutes long, and this is what it looks like. Here's where it's going to get really fun. Now watch. We've got both the band with its adapters on here and the app. you got to have them both, and they got to be connected. Watch up in here really carefully. I'm going to get into the band, going to head over to one of the two ECG tests. If you recall, the first one activates it when it's on your wrist and, and uses that button when you touch with the other hand. This one deactivates this button and switches the electronics to these two plates. It goes black and this circle starts here. Now watch, I'm going to turn the Spoven to my left. I'm going to hold here and I'm going to hold here and I'm going to press this little button, and I have now taken you into an ECG um, chest strap mode, but I'm actually touching it. So I'm going to try to be settled down, hold it still, and there you can see I've got the data coming in. Oh, noisy, noisy. 
If I'm still, it's great. The, the watch or the band is off. This could either be connected to your chest with the pads or uh, a strap. Or like you're seeing here, I can do it simply holding these. And I can do this just like forever. However, if I want to get a report, I have to hit this thing that says Start Recording. It says it's going to take six minutes to generate a recorded data, and I'll say Start. And it's counting it right down here, three seconds, four seconds. And when you're done, you slide that over. In the meantime, you can see your chart. But what it's doing is preparing a particular um, report for you that looks like this. These are called PTT recordings as opposed to the app ECG test. This is the one you did when you had it on your wrist. This is what we've just done with the chest strap. When I go in here now, check it out. I got the start and end time. It's at least six minutes long. You've got your ECG chart. Then it's showing you your heart rate uh, blood uh, beats per minute, your actual overall heart rate on a chart, your heart rate variability. Now, I was noisy, you saw when I did this, um, but when it settles down, it's pretty smooth. So you want to be real still when you start this test and stay still the whole six minutes. Uh, unless you're exercising and running around with, anyway, it, if, if it gets movement, you might see some erratic heart rate variability in it. And then, here's that QT interval thing. And look, it's got purple, blue, light blue, low, normal, high, maximum, minimum. If you know what the heck that means, you got some great data for it. And your overall analytic result is there was no abnormal uh, abnormality in the ECG. So it's a six-minute overall test. Gives you a report. Here's another one. Pulling it up. There we go. Um, oh, wait a minute. That's a standard one. This is where you get this data from. And you've got your overall chart here. That was an app ECG. Here's the other one here. There's a nice chart. There. This is a much smoother. This is a different one I did. Uh, for the heart rate over time. For the heart rate variability information for the QT interval, and again, there's no abnormality. So if you're looking for a quick and simple, easy thing that you can um, slap on or hold on to and get a quick ECG synopsis with a kind of an analytic result, this might be for you. If you're looking for something more sophisticated that's a serious ECG type of a device, and uh, comes with a chest strap, then GoWellU.com. Take a look over there. I'll have links in the show notes for that as well. But this is not a band. This doesn't have any other functions to it other than that. But you do get the strap. So if you got yourself one of these and one of these, man, you've got everything. Or just check again in the show notes. I'll have a link if they have started including a compatible band with this unit um, that you can buy together. That's your best way to go because then you can just slap it on your waist and your waist, your hips. No, <laughs> your chest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wear it everywhere and uh, get your reading from there. All right. Again, when you're done, you activate this. So it says press and exit and you press and hold and that'll take you out of that uh, continuous recording mode. And then you can get yourself back to the watch faces and you're done. Now I want to show you a few different watch faces that are unique to the new release. So I'm back in the H-Band app. I'm going into the My Device, into Dial Settings, and you just have a selection of them. You can't actually uh, view them uh, for this version of the Spoven, the H2, but you can select them and then touch the device, and you'll see the different watch band. So you've got a few different ones. These are showing you time and step data. Here's one that's showing you Time with a meteor going by. Dial 5 looks like this. And then dial 6. This one. This is amazing. You see how it's actually showing you. We can take this off now. It's showing you in the center your heart rate. 
and it's continuous. So if you're wearing the band, sorry I don't have it all strapped up like it should be, and you tap it, it's going to give you your current heart rate. Time is reduced. It's up here in the left-hand corner. And of course, it's set up for the twist to see the time as well. But you can wear this band and have the uh, your current heart rate in big display anytime you want to see it. So really, really sweet addition to the way this works. And like I said before, it's fully functional um, with the H-Band app, all of your data on it. Here's current data that I've got on it, heart rate information. There's where I had it off, then I put it back on. It's showing you your activity levels, new additions to this uh, app since the last time we looked at it. And that works for all the different devices that are on here um, that tether with the H-Band app and work with all of this. Blood pressure, your blood oxygen, all of the information we showed you before is there. There's the current one. I'm not getting as many apnea reports. It's a little bit more accurate now. It's been updated for that. Heart rate variability with the Lorenz scatter diagram is in this. Everything, everything we're used to. ECG directly from the app with a waveform that you can hit play and uh, replay the entire sequence or of course set it up and do a new ECG. So. It is called the Spoven H03. These are the basic specs for it. And again, you can uh, take it off uh, from the, the wrist straps and put uh, electrode pads on it. Use it for a chest strap. Identical to the original Sp Spoven blade in that regard and its tethering capability. And it's available directly from Spoven. We have a link in the show notes. Take you right over here to this ordering page. I'll try to get you a discount price if I can, a coupon discount. And uh, yeah, pick it on up. It's a real, real nice, probably one of the best health monitoring devices uh, out there. And has been since 2019. And the Theme continues in the new H03. That's it for today. We'll see you again soon, gang. Thanks for watching.